Hey, my people. Just stepping into the video really quick. Okay, so this video is sponsored by Keen. Yes, I'm getting sponsored by a, a really great company. And I'm featuring them because they gave me a really cool discount for you guys. It's a link in the description box below for um, a five minute reading for a dollar. So, you know, you can get a five minute reading done by their very talented people on there. They have tarot readers, they have psychics on there. And it's if you need guidance, you know, you have a question, you're at a crossroads, you know, you're experiencing something and you just need that that reassurance that, you know, you're making the right decision or, you know, maybe you're just you're off. You know what I mean? Your intuition's off or whatever it is. You know, we all go through things like that where, you know, you just have a lot on your shoulders and you just need that reassurance from somebody else. And these people are very talented, kind, generous, and they're right there. They're, they're ready whenever you need them. And it's a great website. And like I said, when I was going through something or I was in indecision about something, they were able to bring clarity to me. And I feel very blessed and honored that I'm being able to sponsor them now, so. Okay, so if you're interested and this is calling to you, it's a sign, right? So I believe that things happen for a reason and nothing's a mistake. So you seeing this right now and seeing this video, watching me, it's kind of looping you into the next thing that maybe, you know, your spirit guides, your angels, the universe is guiding you to, you know, get that clarity. I always feel that way, you know, especially, you know, when you're thinking about something and you hear a song and it like answers it for you. Or, you know, you're thinking about something and you're like, man, I'm really bothered. And then a, a video comes on and it's telling you like, hey, everything's OK. You're good. La la. And you're like, what? That That's so weird. So I feel like if this is ringing some kind of bell and you're like, oh, I really need that answer right now. Or, you know, uh, I'm so close to like something. I, I just need that that clarity. Keen is going to help you out with that. I'm telling you, you, just go on there real quick. You could choose whoever you could choose your reader as well. You know what I mean? You can choose whoever it is and, you know, they'll be able to answer your question. Yeah, I know it's a sensitive thing, but yeah, maybe give it a shot. See how you feel. OK, so very clear, right? Everything's good. I'm good. I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for watching this really quick. Uh, you know, announcement, little little sponsorship for me and my, my little channel. And thank you guys for supporting me. And like I said, you can definitely um, connect by, you know, phone call or text message. And a keen advisor is online to help you whenever. And you could try them at my link, trykeen.com forward slash opulence okay that's trykeen.com forward slash opulence that's my link that's my personal link that's how you guys can get a discount for that five minute reading for a dollar i mean come on that's like a steal isn't it like hello and everything for that will be in the description box <laughs> below yo i'm not even joking this is so funny but i feel like this is this is a big moment you know, not just for me, but for you guys, because now I'm able to help you guys, like bring more things to you guys, you know, because of my channel and how I'm being seen. And that's because of you guys. I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for supporting me always. Many blessings to you. Hey, my people, my beautiful people up in here. All right. This is Applin Spiritual. Another reading. Okay. So this is for the Chinese Zodiac, okay? I'm breaking it down into four different videos. I'm putting timestamps. I'm sorry if my uh, thing's shaking. It's because my wash machine's going. You already know. You already know this is real life and all that stuff. And uh, today on this one, we have 
Chinese year of the rat or cat. You guys get two because you're special because, you, you know, it represents both it's the same thing. This is going to be the dragon. I know this isn't a dragon. It's a horseshoe crab. But I thought it was, like, the closest I had in this deck. They didn't have dragons in this deck. So you guys get this cute one. And it has, like, space and stuff, which is really cute. And then year of the snake. So this is your video if you're these Chinese years. You know, and even if you're not, and you're just like, oh, I want to I wanna see what all the Chinese Zodiacs say. Well, there you go. Underneath the tarot deck, you guys got the Magician. I have pre-shuffled cards underneath these, just so the video is not too long. But yeah, that's telling me overall that you guys are manifesting a lot right now. And this video is for the next three to four weeks. It's timeless. I didn't want to make it for like March, April, whatever. But it could be. We're going to see what happens. I don't know. But whenever you catch this, there's a, I was going to say there's a story for you in here. There's something you need to know. Let me know. Thank you to all my people, my subscribers. And if you haven't subscribed, because I looked at my, you know, whatever that is on YouTube. There you go. Confirmation right there that you guys are manifesting a lot, big time. Especially if you're an earth sign, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. But, um... Yeah, over 50% of you guys aren't even subscribed to me. Like, what's going on? It's for free. That's the best way of supporting me on top of watching my shit. All right? You know, I love you guys. And let's get right into this. Okay. Chinese ear or the rabbit or cat. You guys are really special. Okay, you get two. You get two beautiful things here. So what is this telling me right now that you guys could be very, you know, into your home right now, comfort zone. You could have a lot of fire or earth energy watching this right now. Leo Sagittarius Aries, Virgo Taurus Capricorn. You're seen as very um, abundant. Like you, have, you probably own like a lot of beautiful furniture and stuff like that. Or you're like into stuff like that, making your house look really nice. Maybe you're on a new diet. Maybe you're eating really healthy, plant-based. Stuff like that. Let's find out what's going on. All right, so Aquarius is showing up. Show the world the real you, which I feel like that's what you're doing. You're like becoming more confident. I don't know, this is giving me like 60s, 70s vibes or something. I don't know, it's like that, you know, seductive, like, come to my pad, girl, you know, like, <laughs> I don't know. Come over to my, my pad. So, I don't know. Nothing will come of this situation. Void, of course. Moon. So, something that is happening right now in your life. Maybe it's a lot of darkness in your life. Nothing's going to come from the situation. It could have started in Aquarius season, right? But maybe it has to do with you. And, like, your feelings towards your own self. Maybe you feel like you're not good enough. Maybe it's something with the body here. Let's see. Oh, oh, it's your healing. It's your health. It's your wellness. So a lot of you are switching your diet. You're changing your lifestyle because it's not working for you. And here's another thing that's happening. Wow, this is really cool. You're getting some kind of invitation. It could be happening next full moon from when you see this. Or something in Leo season. You could be 31, 27. Year of the horses here. Letter A. And of course, Leo's here as well uh, with the cat as well. But you have the sun here. There's an invitation coming towards you. Wow. And it's going to make you very happy. It could be to some kind of uh, healing or spiritual event or something like that. Maybe it's an event. I'm even here on Valentine's Day too. So it could have to do with something with Valentine's Day. Okay. So and remember, this is timeless. So wolf. So now you have another spirit guide here. Wolf. Large family, family issues, experiencing losses, strength in numbers, large corporation, codependency, and codependent. A lot of you could have been codependent on something or someone. Maybe this was something about your food, lifestyle, your body. Maybe you were working out too much. Maybe, you know, you had an eating disorder or something like that. You know, this is real life. You know, people have things like it, you know, that doesn't make you a bad person or anything. You know, I, I, was, I was thinking about this the other day. Because, like, I was born in the 90s. I'm 91, by the way. You're the GOAT. <laughs> but uh, when I was younger, like, I didn't know this was happening to me. But, like, I kind of developed, like, an eating disorder 
um, when I was like in my early like teens, you know what I mean? Like when I started going into high school, I got to the point where like I wasn't eating and like, you know, you get like complimented. I'm looking so thin and and the big thing around that time was like Hollister and all that shit. That was like the biggest thing. <laughs> and I wanted to fit in like a size zero. Well, I didn't want to. I just, it just happened like that. And I'm, and I'm like more of a, a curvy girl here. Not like, I'm not fat, but like I have a big ass and all that. Like I always had like my whole life <laughs> and like thicker thighs and everything. And um, like I was never able to fit in like clothes like that. But, like, my sister, on the other hand, she's, like, real thin. And, like, she always had, like, she didn't have any curves or anything like that, like, ever. And uh, she always had these, like, thin little legs and stuff. <laughs> it's like, you know, and I, and, like, you know, when you get, like, self-conscious about certain things. But anyways, that has nothing to do with this. I'm just saying, like, I feel like some of you, maybe you went, like, overboard or something. You know, maybe, you know, you, you went too extreme with with something here you know what i mean and the most important thing here is loving yourself i mean i preach this shit on my channel because it's very important you know i'm here for you guys i love you guys and it you know that stuff makes me really sad you know when, when i hear things like that because like you should always love who you are i know that's like stupid and like you know corny like Oh, okay, you know, what if what if I what if I'm ugly or something? You know, you're you're only saying that because you're really beautiful and like all this stupid shit, right? But it's like you but like you are beautiful in your own way. Not everything has to be on the outside. You know, cuz you you could be the most beautiful person in the whole world in other people's eyes or whatever. But like you could have the most evil insides. You know what I mean? You could be like a bitch or an asshole. And like, and that just makes you look ugly is like the inside. You know what I mean? Like you could be like the most attractive and have all these plastic surgeries and all this shit, whatever that you think makes you look nice. But at the end of the day, like, are, like, are you like a bimbo and all that shit? You know what I mean? Like, it's not attractive. I mean, that's how I feel in my eyes, but you know, whatever. Anyways, let's keep going. We have the eye here psychic ability trust your intuition and i feel like they're saying trust your intuition about something with like your job or your family and meeting a stranger here handshake meeting a stranger could be important you're about to meet a stranger because look it's like two hands here two hands here it's it's like a contract the confirmation here haystack karma you reap what you've sown this is your karma that's what's going on whoa and it's connected to money here a path with money is waiting for you all right, here we go. You already know what to do. So Spirit's like, yeah, you already know what to do. Help is coming. You're very lucky right now. Wow, super lucky. Especially around springtime, April to June. From whenever you see this, you're going to be very lucky here. Okay, so we have balloon. Inner child, festivities, and rising above. The shadow side of this card is stress, de depression, and pressure. And I feel like it's both. You know who you are in this. Okay, and you need healing and you have that coming and you also have help coming. So maybe you're going to get help, which is that's great. You know what I mean? Some people need help. I don't know why I was telling you guys that stuff in the beginning. That's what I'm saying, because it's I'm in your energy. I'm tra channeling right now. So, yeah, me, I'm telling you, it has something to do with the body here. Some of you. Like on the lighter sense of this. You're feeling really good about yourself. You you like maybe you started buying lingerie and just like walking around your house. Even if you're single, you're like, I look so good. La la. You know what I mean? Like it's something like that too. We have hurt here. And we also have making plans. So <clears throat> yeah, here we go. I'm getting a little uh my throat's getting a little scratchy here. Maybe somebody doesn't want me to say something. What's going on here? So a lot of you were maybe in like an intimate connection or very just very intimate with somebody. There was no emotional attachment with this. That's what I'm getting. And this connection brought a lot of stress and anxiety. Maybe this person even hurt you, right? There's hurtful feelings here. But there's something about making plans. 
or this time frame, the springtime is when you're going to feel better. You're not going to be in this hurt energy. Maybe some of you broke up with somebody or it's just, uh, just about the body, I feel. I don't really see anything about like heavy love stuff here so far. We'll, we'll see what happens. But maybe you were in a codependent relationship where it was just intimate, you know, because you had codependency here. And at the end of the day, it left you hurt. You could have been dealing with a Taurus, Cancer, Leo, Virgo, and Labra. But that's all changing. It's perfect timing now for you to move forward. And you're getting more information. Yeah, you're doing your research. Look at this. My homemade card. Card. K-drama. Love of a lifetime. Need time to think. Coming together after a long period of time. One to two years. Maybe you've been single for this long. Maybe there's somebody coming towards you. I'm telling you because you're meeting with a stranger. Invitation. You could be meeting someone at like a party or an event. Always had love for you. Maybe this person, you know, maybe it was one-sided. Maybe this person love bombed you. Maybe they hurt you before. Maybe this person, it was only an intimate thing. For some of you with love. But for some of you, you're feeling yourself and you're like, yeah, I look good. I feel good. I'm ready for new beginnings. I'm ready to date. I'm ready to get back out there. Something about stores, malls, convenience stores, cities, coffee shops, school, and universities here. So that's good. Yeah, something is going to be equal to the take here. And I'm hearing a blessing in disguise. Yeah, you're getting out of this uh, the single energy. You could be a Virgo watching. Aquarius. Cancer. Yeah, something's moving forward now. Yeah, you're going to have a lot of options now. Look at this. And definitely, this is the meeting with the stranger. Look, look. This is that person. They could be an earth sign. They want to offer you something. You have a lot of options here. Wow. Love and money here. Yeah, what are you guys worried about? Yeah, there's definitely an event, an invitation here. Yeah, something's about to take off. It already took off. Spirit's been uh, trying to tell you, your higher self. That's why they said you already know what to do. You already know what to do here. So get ready for that. Let me get the charms. And I'm about to move on, baby. This effing chair, bro. I bought a new chair. So that's definitely coming very soon. Because <laughs> this chair is like effing broken, bro. No. We're a family. All right. There's something about like sci-fi here. Sophie. Zeus. Dude. Dumb. I, that's what I was saying. Something about like being a bimbo. Maybe people think that you were just like, you know, since you're like really attractive or whatever, maybe you're like an idiot or something. But meanwhile, you're like a scientist or some shit. You have like five master's degrees or some shit. Yeah, never judge a book by its cover here. Maybe you're judging a book by its cover. Someone coming towards you, maybe they're like super nerdy or corny, but like they're actually like really great, you know? <laughs> 44. Okay, so you could be seeing 444 a lot. 40, 440, that could be an angel number here. X, V, there could be something with an X here. And someone wants um, equal give and take with you, straight up. So we have, what is this, year of the goat, year of the rabbit slash cat, that's you guys. And there's a completion here of a cycle. Definitely, 100%. 40, 44, 52 is here. Hope is never lost. All right, there's something with love here and something that's connected to your sister. Maybe your sister's going to be re reaching out to you. Okay. They could be born in the year of the rabbit too. I'm hearing dumpster diving. I don't know, maybe you guys do that. Oh my gosh, I don't know what's going on. Okay, so wish is coming true. Wow, you have the stone here. Look at that. That means like this is something very rare. Like like once in a blue moon never happens. So there's an opportunity coming that's like once in a blue moon. You're also going to be seen as someone that's very beautiful and attractive. Yeah, year of the dragons here, which is this year, 2024. But this can also be someone coming towards you in love, baby. Yeah, there could be something with like a child here or that's your inner child. You also have a luck here with the four-leaf clover. 
another dragon so maybe you have like a few friends that are like you're the dragon or your family members yeah there's someone with rabbit here you're the rabbits here that's you but there's like a struggle here this is giving me like the ten of wands like a like an overburden here that's about to be released you have a lot of abundance coming towards you and you're also doing your research you're gaining some kind of knowledge on something and there's someone uh very loyal that's around you this could be like a new friend or someone you're meeting in love they could be chinese ear of the dog they could be a scorpio you have a lot of aries energy here as well you also have a lot of leo so a lot of fire with the dragons and everything you know what i mean got a little scorpio here scorpio but yeah that's all i have for you i hope you guys enjoy it. tell me if you like this this kind of thing uh this better i could try to do this it's just it's a lot for me you know what i mean but i'm trying my best my people but anyways Raphael's here too but i love you guys and i'll see you in the next one namaste love and light All right, you're the dragon. What's up? You guys a little horseshoe crab or some shit? Maybe you're a water sign. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. You have a lot of that in your chart. Something with like the moons and stars. The sea, the ocean. Maybe you love the ocean. Maybe you love space, the cosmics and stuff like that. You could be like a star seed. You could be like a, like a scientist. Like, you know, into all that stuff. Like astrology and whatever. You know? Like the otherworldly, like aliens and sci-fi shit and all that. So let me see. Valley. Deep personal strength and peace that assures success. So there's some kind of success here. Funnel, period of frustration, lessons to be learned. So maybe you're going through kind of a hard time right now and you have spiritual love. Ooh, okay. So we have manifest. So you're manifesting a lot of things in your life right now. That's why it's very frustrating. You want a brand new beginning here, sneaking around in lies. Maybe you're sneaking around. Maybe you're not being too honest here. It could have to do with that. Or this is someone coming in love. They could be an earth sign or earth sign season could be significant. Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. Something is in divine timing here and hurt feelings. Someone's got hurt here. So that could be you. Or someone that you were dealing with. Oh, all right, let's see. Oh my gosh, they could be a Scorpio. Look at that. Terror. Resistance to change, anxieties in various aspects of your life. You guys are having a lot of anxiety right now. What's going on? You don't want you don't want to change. <laughs> That's what it is. You do not want to change, bro. You need to calm down with that shit. Let things happen. Here, I'm holding my I'm holding your hand right now. Look. Everything's gonna be good. You're good. All right. You gotta let things flow. I promise that everything's gonna be okay. You're gonna be okay. Everything's everything's always gonna be okay, but you have to let God help you in the universe. You know what I mean? Just let things go. Maybe you're the type of person that you don't let things go. You're good enough. Look. Virgo, you could have Virgo placements. You are good enough. Someone with the heart chakra with the green here. The energy is gaining momentum, waxing moon. Something's speeding up and maybe it's that change and you know, you're know you resisting the change, all right? Aries. Well, if you have Aries in your chart, I don't know, you're really good at letting things go. You know, you always want change here, but maybe you have these other aspects that you're like, I don't wanna change, but the other part of you is like, yeah, I'm ready, but you're nervous, you're scared. It's time to take action though. Spirit's saying, let's go. All right, so you have yellow doll here. So maybe you like Indian food or maybe you're Indian. Some with uh, yellow, the color yellow as well, which is the solar plexus and says it's open and active. Like it's ready to go. Something with like airy season, Virgo season could be significant. Something, your high manifest manifestations are happening right now. Very high manifestations. Creating something of value. It could be connected to your life purpose. Doors are opening, you have inner child healing, and something is happening in the summer here. And yellow foods could be significant. Maybe you're incorporating more yellow foods. It says maturity. It's recognizing when wisdom has been achieved and also knowing when learning is necessary. There you go. Maybe, excuse me, I have to burp. Maybe you're the type of person that you don't 
you don't like taking advice from other people or maybe you have a hard time listening to other people you know because you feel like you achieve so much that you're like okay i can't learn anything from you maybe you're that maybe you're a little bit stubborn you know but spirit's saying yeah you you're very mature you know and you gained a lot of wisdom in something but learning you're always learning as a person no matter how old you are you know what i mean there's always something to learn so maybe be open to that or be open to new people coming into your life too we have never ending story discovering new ways of doing things the hanged man a new person or a job could be happening in your life travel for work or pleasure maybe you're traveling getting ready to travel let me know comment down below and we have making plans for the future need to listen more yeah maybe you need to listen more calm down maybe you talk too much right i love you but it's all right it's okay you could be 21 years old but need to listen more a patient person timing now the present from when you see this okay let's see what else yeah read in between the lines there's something that's so obvious here fixing what is broken so something's very obvious in your life and you're going to be fixing it you're going to be fixing it here life partner maybe this is a relationship maybe you're going to be fixing some kind of relationship in your life this could be someone new coming into your life because you have a new person here they can end up being a life partner oh i forgot one left here marriage look and it was left in between a lot of you are meeting your life partner and getting married like very soon it could be now it could be in an earth sign season virgo taurus capricorn wow that's really great it's up to you and wait some of you need to wait wait a, a little bit more for something here and we have oh my gosh look yeah you definitely are getting married and engaged meeting the one look at this so a lot of you looking for love here you got three cards from three different decks saying that you're about to get that person baby achievement is something commitment and love are in business so this could be a new career thing a new job also spirit saying look job well done you did a good job you're the tigers here as well but march is showing up high five the universe is giving you a high five here and it says look no is a complete answer you need to put your foot down on something you're being noticed here being rewarded by the universe graduating spiritually being appreciated by others and it's like equal here there's something equal here so that's really great wow that's like really great yeah you're manifesting a lot you guys got that high manifestation right now for you yeah look at this scorpio energy here yeah you're ending a tough cycle in your life a really tough cycle like it was just a burden like huge burden that you guys have been going through like really severe like you like you're literally on your last little little piece like all the way on the edge of the string here with this shit you're like when is this effing gonna end i'm really tired of the shit but it is the sun's coming out look the universe is clearing the path for you you could be an earth sign a lot of earth energy here virgo taurus capricorn but you're even if you're not an earth sign you still are embodying that that energy of being financially stable and secure you're going into a time of happiness and joy a lot of you are meeting the one that you, and you're going to end up creating a family with this person a beautiful marriage that's going to last like a lifetime here it's going to be beautiful you're leaving the past behind and you're moving forward especially if you're a single parent right this person's going to accept you and your kid yeah look she came out yeah you're getting out of this energy and you're fighting away like the fears you know the demons in your life the bad things you know the things that were outweighing on your mind you know this was like an overburden here you're getting out of this energy here because now you're in self-love self-care and there is equal give and take here the spirit like the universe spirit is going to be helping you look and you're even going to receive money like you're going to be receiving some kind of money here big time that's going to help you out so you guys are on your way to success here Right, let's see let's get some charms here i feel like these are like really fun wait hold on i need a little bit more for you guys okay yeah i, I like this better okay let's see okay yeah a lot of you you're gonna be feeling okay and that's good someone with like okinawa or like japan or something l and I'm getting, like, Egypt in my head, too. You have Oklahoma here, but, like, something with, like, Egypt. 
Maybe you're a language major, language arts. Wisconsin, Wyoming here, Eric, Kentucky's here. And there's something with like a Texas and an X here. An X here. Number four. Hmm. Year of the Rabbit. That's Aries as well. The next four days, four weeks, four months are going to be very significant for you. You could be, you know, dating. Obviously, you're going to be meeting the one too. So they're coming in very soon. Something could have took four years. You know what I mean? Yeah, and I'm here and I'm still working on it. 10 you have 10 so 10 a completion right you had the 10 of wands 10 here you could be seeing 10 10 10 yeah spirit saying it's over look you got two things about an invitation here you have the letter but now the letter's open and you have the invitation so you can be invited to two different things or you're definitely receiving news messages here and two things in your life there's going to be a lot of sweetness coming to you and i feel like you didn't lose faith like you always kept faithful and believed in yourself yeah and you're meeting a really great friend here and you're gonna be going into like a very playful time in your life yeah something took a long ass time here but you've been divinely guided and protected this whole time towards this goal and this is why this is all happening for you spirit's been helping you while you've been manifesting this whole time so make sure you thank your angels and your spirit guides and god because they've been working really hard with you, all right? Something with, like, Joe, Joe, uh, Jojo, maybe. That could be a nickname, but... And you're something with your IQ. Maybe you have a very high IQ or something, but... Anyways, yeah, that's it. That's all I have for you. Make sure you guys subscribe if you haven't already, okay? I love you guys so much. Namaste! Love and light. Here we go. I don't know why you care. He doesn't even know you're there. Oh no. Cause he don't love your eyes. And he don't love your stride. Girl, you know that it's there. In the middle of the night. I'm gonna be by your side. Oh no. Will he run and hide? You don't know cause things ain't clear In the middle of the night I'm sorry, my hair, like, <laughs> I have <laughs> I'm dyeing my hair right now and all the hair dies Like on the top of my head Like I literally have my dreads like in a bun on top of my head So it's like stretching my head right now And like, it's kind of hard for me to sing in tune or whatever Alright, so whatever F this shit Okay all right, so here we go. You're the snake. So you guys could be at a crossroads about something here. You guys got a little love going on. I don't know. What's going on, motherfucker? I don't know. You got some something going on here. It's a little sly, a little slick. A little slick sly, slick sly, slick, 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 slick. I don't know. You're, you're a little slick right now. You guys planning something? I don't know. Let's find out. Navigate carefully. All right. Healing your heart. Oh, okay. All right. Well, you guys are like the healing Chinese um, zodiac. Is The snake is about healing and love here. Distance, world travel. A lot of you could be traveling somewhere. Mountains. Maybe you're going like a road trip, traveling. Wow, and it's going to heal your heart. Maybe you're going on like a, you know, a solo journey type of thing. Oh, you got money here. Big monies. Yeah, look at this. You are on the right path regarding some aspect of your life. Yeah, you're on the right path. That's great. Something could have happened in October or next October is going to be very significant for you. You could be dealing with a Libra or this is you. Maybe your birthday's in October. Libra, Scorpio, Virgo. That could be significant. And then you have harp. Great happiness. Maybe you play the harp. Maybe you play some kind of instrument. You're going to be invited to something and it's going to uh, give you some like big wealth big opportunity here and we have rat maybe someone born in the year of the rat Sh someone's showing sorry that's not what it says but <laughs> someone's gonna show their true colors to you 
straight up someone working against you behind your back and this is someone that's been uh behind your back doing some dumb shit maybe it's a, uh, affecting like your your happiness or your wealth but you're going to be finding this out spirit's going to help you change is coming loneliness so maybe you've been feeling lonely that's changing very near future here your future is going to be um big with this especially going towards like the autumn i know it's a little far but your future you have money coming great happiness you're going to find out about this trifling ass person and yeah you're going to be getting out of money problems here which is really great man you could be a belly dancer we have strength body confidence and sensuality oh you could be very sexy very attractive and the downside, like the, not the downside, but the shadow side of this card is insecurities and negative attitudes. So maybe you're like, some of you, you could be very proud of who you are, your, you know, where you've come from, what you look like, you know, all that stuff. And like proud to be unique or whatever, whatever it is about you, you're very, you have a lot of self-love. And then the other part, if you guys are not in, in that kind of energy, you could have like negative attitude towards yourself. Like you don't really love yourself. You don't find yourself very attractive or you don't feel like you're worthy of anything. Maybe you have insecurities. Yeah, Spirit's saying you need to work on that straight up. Surrender to the divine. The next full moon is going to be very significant. Maybe you're going to do some kind of uh, rituals for self-love, self-care. Maybe you have a lot of Scorpio in your chart. Work through your fears. Yeah, if you have some fears... You got to work through that shit, baby. That's what I'm saying. You need to sit down with yourself and be like, listen, I love you. I appreciate you. Thank you for always taking me everywhere. This is you talking to yourself, by the way. Like, you know, you could be 32 years old. You're, you're saying to yourself, thank you for always being here. When I wake up, thank you for getting out of bed. Thank you for always being strong and, you know, you, this is what you're telling yourself like thank you for always being there for me because at, at the end of the day that's all you got is yourself i know there's people in your life there's nice people and whatever but at the end of the day you are with yourself all the time and if you don't love yourself no one else is going to love you like that so you got to fix that straight up right away throat maybe you have a lot of air energy too a lot of blue here look at this blue you're definitely going to be speaking up or maybe saying affirmations, fixing this to bring great happiness to you. Or you need to start hearing uh, like a lot of truth and communication. You're going to start hearing a lot of truth and communication. But you need to be hearing this from yourself. 33 could be significant as well. The house. Maybe this all started in childhood. You have number four here. You're the rabbit. Letter K. Aries energy here. You know, maybe you're getting a new house. I was going to say betting on something. Maybe you're betting on, on a house. Maybe you, you have like a few houses you found and you, you know, and you put in a couple of, um, <sighs> hold on, give me a second. Cause I'm, I'm like talking too fast <laughs> and I'm standing cause my chair is broken. So give me a second. Let me think here. Mm, babe, that's what you're going to say. You're going to be like, listen, give me a second. Can I breathe for a second? Stop putting pressure on me. That's what you're going to tell somebody. Like, hop off. Step back. Like, boundaries have been set. Like, that's what you're going to say. Especially this is with your family. I don't know. You're going to be speaking up. Something with this here. New home. Relocation. Maybe you're moving. Hmm. You could be telling a Scorpio off. Choose people who treat you with dignity and respect. Yeah, because look, this is what I'm saying. There's either, you're going to be speaking up about this shit. You're tired of being disrespected. Maybe people are talking down to you. Maybe they're telling you that you're not good enough, that you're not attractive or whatever. I don't know. I don't know your situation, but you're going to tell them to go F off. Because you don't want people around you that don't treat you with dignity and respect. Yeah, I don't blame you. That's effed up. Compromise. You could be dealing with a Libra. But there's something maybe spirit is asking you that you need to compromise on something. Listen to your intuition. Yeah, you're going to be getting a lot of intuitive hits about this shit, especially by the next full moon. You're going to know what to do. Number 999, change. Karmic cycle ends. Yeah, you're ending a karmic cycle in your life. It could have had to do with your body. 
you know, insecurities, self-illusion I'm hearing, dark night of the soul, spiritual awakening, spiritual journey. A lot of you are going through a dark night of the soul or you will be going into that. There's something with like your Saturn return too. Wisdom and power from heartache and turmoil. Moving on. End of a cycle here. Yeah, you're going into your Empress energy here. That's what I'm saying. You're going into that feminine energy healing here. Oh. Yeah, you're the high priestess. You could have Pisces placements. Virgo, Gemini. That's what I'm getting here. Yeah. Yeah. Someone feels like they missed an opportunity with you or you feel like you missed an opportunity with something here. You're getting downloads. You're getting in, uh, intuitive hits here. Definitely a lot of water energy. Look, this is like giving me all water. You're going to be in your motions. Maybe um, you were connecting to a fire sign or a fire signs coming towards you. Leo, Sagittarius, Aries. Oh, or it could be an earth sign. Maybe they have fire and earth placements. This person's watching you. And if you're the earth sign... Somebody's definitely watching you. You could be learning a new skill as well. You have earth and water here. Great combination. Someone's spying on you, baby. You got another queen here. There's a lot of people here. Oh, hold up. Look, these two cards came out together and these two cards came out together. So a lot of you feel disappointed, especially with your career, your finances, something that you've been doing for a long time. I feel like it doesn't bring you any joy anymore. No motivation. A lot of you could be hearing a hard truth, like a very harsh truth here, and it's going to make you leave. You could be leaving a job as well. A friendship even, but this is what I'm saying. A lot of you could be leaving a, a relationship if you're in one right now, and you feel like this person's just at the same, they do the same thing over and over. Like you want to grow, and this person wants to stay behind. And I feel like a lot of you could be leaving a toxic situation like that. It's a toxic relationship. It's not working for you anymore. You want to be independent. You want to move forward. You want to grow. You want to be emotionally stable and secure. You want to be financially stable and secure. For some of you, after a heartache and pain, you're going to be meeting a divine counterpart here. Someone that's going to make you very happy. It's in divine timing, though. It's all in the matter of time. This also could be someone coming back to you that you've been waiting for. Maybe you have like an inkling who you think this is. You know, you've been getting intuitive hits about this person or maybe you've been dreaming about this person. This person feels like they missed an opportunity with you in the past and they could be coming back as well. They could be a water sign. So let's see. Hold up. One thing fell on the floor here. Let me see what this says. 72, because nice matters. UE. Maybe you're from UE. You could be from the United Kingdom, the UK. Or like you could be Arab or from like um, the Middle East or something. Or this person could be Northwest, could be significant. Minnesota. You could be like a tiny person or you're short. Or you have a short temper, I'm hearing. <laughs> Something about a hug. Somebody wants to hug you. They want your forgiveness here. I don't know. Al. Sal Salvador. Saturday. Something about a Saturday. Could be significant. Street. Something about your street. Maybe this person drives down your street or some shit <laughs> what are they doing quebec is here canada jc jaquan las vegas and norwell's here i don't know maybe that's like a spirit guide for you norwell Maybe look up the meaning of a Norwell. Stack. You're going to be, you know, stacking up your money and shit. I love you to the moon and back. Something with a lot of moon energy. You could have a lot of uh, water in your chart. You're, you're very emotional, you know, and you need that grounded energy to, you know, help you feel secure. You know what I mean? That security here. You need to ground yourself more as well. 
William. I'm, I'm, I also heard William Shakespeare, so maybe you like that jazz. Maybe you like jazz music. Okay, this you're going to have a very... Um, I'm here an interesting meeting with somebody. Mm, maybe you're going out for coffee or tea. Going meeting at a cafe. Never, never give up. Somebody's never given up on you or you never gave up on something. Yeah, and you're being divinely guided and protected like big time because this has the diamond in it, the Hesma hand. Strong is beautiful. You could have a lot of Leo placements as well. It takes a big heart to teach little minds. Maybe you're a teacher. Maybe you're seen as someone that's very powerful, very strong. You're a leader. People look up to you. Yeah, you definitely were in cycles with somebody here that's that's coming back. Something with your sacral chakra, water sign energy here. Someone wants to take some of the burdens off of you. They really want to be there for you. Spirit's been divinely guiding you through this. You have another has my hand here. Some of you could be Muslim or Jewish. Yeah, there's a there's definitely a sneaky energy here with the fox. There's a sneaky energy here around you, around love. So you have someone around you in love that's sneaky or someone seeing you as sneaky too. This could be your energy as well. Jacqueline's here, Jackie. Hmm. So yeah, you're definitely cutting some out of your life. Yeah, and you want balance, mind, body, and spirit, the Mercuba here. Yeah, and love. And love, you want to uh, make it balanced in your life, too. You don't want nothing toxic anymore. And your inner child has been trying to shout that out to you. You're healing your inner child. Yeah, something about your money changing, too. You're healing your money. It's all connected here. Yeah, wishes coming true with the little fairy. And your heart's definitely, um, it's healing. But there's something about you uh, that makes you very unique with your heart. I feel like you give a lot. You give a lot, 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 and it ends up hurting you in the end. You know, and you're a very hard worker. You got this little working person. Very hard working here, but yeah, you got to be careful. With, protect your heart as well. You're very lucky too, especially with money and love too. But money big time is here. But yeah, that's all I have for you. Thank you so much. Oh, whoa, whoa. Hold up, son. Hold up. This was on my knee. What the F? So letter M wants to want you to sit on their lap. <laughs> Oh no, who's this? Comment down below. Tell me who letter M is. But yeah, I love you guys. Thank you so much. If you haven't already, subscribe. Tell me if you guys like this. I, I think this is this is really cool. Okay, something with like Aztecs here as well. But anyways, I'll see you in the next one. Namaste. You guys are the best. Love and light.